So if you're ever unsure of what mode you're in, if you just hit the escape key, then you'll go to command mode, and you, and you can start over from command mode. Now what you are is we're in command mode right now. You can move around the file with the arrow keys, okay? Uh, you cannot point and click in here, all right? So v, the VI editor here is not like a point and clickable sort of editor. It's all text-based. Everything you do is going to be based on keystrokes. There's no menus to, to use like Emacs had, and there's no, uh, you know, it's, it's a much more primitive editor. Like I told you before, it's a much smaller program, and the reason that it's a smaller program is because everything is, is uh, based on keystrokes that you enter at the keyboard. All right, so uh, so let's let's do something to this file. Let's enter insert mode. So the way that we're going to enter insert mode is just by typing an I while we're in command mode. And we're in command mode right now. When you go into the file, you're in command mode. And remember, like I said, you can always hit the escape key to go back to command mode. So I'll hit an I, and now you can see down at the bottom it says insert. So now we're in, 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 in the insert mode, uh, and now we can do things like say, okay, this is a really silly file. And then we can go to the end of the line. Uh, we can hit the delete key to get rid of stuff and just, you know, put some exclamation marks there. And this is what insert mode means. If I hit an enter now, you can see everything kind of moves down a line. All these tildes that run down the left-hand side are just markers, uh, just kind of like to represent that these lines don't really exist in the file. Okay, now what I'm going to do is hit escape again, and now I'm back to command mode. If I want to save these changes, then what I can do is type shift colon. Now you can see uh, the colon shows up down at the bottom, and I could hit WQ to write my changes and quit. Okay, if I just want to write my changes, I could just hit a W there and hit enter. And now it says silly.txt, four lines, 56 characters has been written. So there, now the file's saved. I could do some more changes to it and, and so on. Okay, so, so that's basically, uh, you know, the, the basics of VI. If you want to do something like, you know, delete a whole line of text, you can just hit DD here. And then the, the, um, the whole line of text disappeared. So while we were in command mode, you hit DD and that whole line of text disappeared. All right, so that's the kind of things that VI has. It has all these little shortcuts like DD to delete a line, and, and, and you can put numbers in there to delete more lines. And just, you know, find a tutorial on VI, look at the man page for VI, and you'll learn all the various shortcuts. And like I said, uh, the most important thing to remember is that, you know, you hit escape key and you go to command mode, and then to save any sort of changes that you make, uh, you hit shift colon while you're in command mode. WQ would write your changes and quit out. If you just want to quit without writing, you have to hit Q and exclamation mark. So that will uh, quit you out of the VI editor, and it won't save any of your changes. It'll revert you back to what was there before. Uh, in case you did something catastrophic, you, you changed something, you don't remember how to change it back, then just quit out with the exclamation mark, Q exclamation mark. It'll stop. It'll just revert all your changes back to what it was before you entered the editor. Okay? So I'm just going to do a WQ Q here to write my changes and quit and hit enter and now I'm out of the VI editor and now if we do something like cat uh, silly.txt and cat's just a command that prints out stuff to the screen it prints out a text file to the screen so if I just hit enter now you can see uh, the new file so it says this is a really silly file and there's no more stuff down here that says what do you think we deleted that Okay, so that's the basics of the VI editor, and like I said, you just need to pick which one you which one you want to use uh, when your system's up and functioning. There's plenty of people that use VI, there's plenty of people that use Emacs, but you at least need to know the basics of VI, remember, for when your system is in some sort of state of disrepair. All right, well, it's time to wrap up our first video on using Linux. Uh, we started by logging into the system, which is a really simple process, and then we talked about various commands. Uh, the ls command to list the contents of a directory. cd, change the directories. Um, the move command, which basically renamed the file to a different name. Uh, the remove command, which deleted a file. The copy command, which copied a file to a new name, but it left the original intact. And, and we threw some other ones in there, like the cat command to print out a file. And basically, you know, all these commands are, are um, available to you can find out all about these commands in the man pages and the info pages, which we're going to talk about in the next video. And you can just learn about the commands and the various options for the commands. Remember, for the remove command, we did that thing where we said rm with minus i before we removed the file. Well, this minus i uh, is an option for rm. Rm has other options. Most of these, uh, most every Linux command has options that you can use with it. And the man pages and the info pages are going to tell you all about those various options. And like I said, we'll talk about that in the next video.
Uh, then we finally wrapped up with some discussion of editors, the VI editor and the Emacs editor. And, you know, just pick whichever one is more natural to you, whichever one seems more natural. Use that one. And remember, you got to at least keep, uh, you know, brushed up at least with the basics of VI for those circumstances when you're not going to be able to run Emacs. Well, I hope you found this nugget informative, and thanks for watching.